Hi there, I'm Martin Tett. I'm leader of Buckinghamshire Council and welcome to week three of our video blog. Uh, we've been in lockdown now for three weeks and uh, I think we're all beginning slowly to adjust to uh, a very different way of working and a different way of life. Uh, we've got a guest speaker on today, as promised last week. It's Mark Omerod from the organisation called LEAP, which used to be the Buckinghamshire sort of Sports Association. Um, but before I go to Mark, I just wanted to have a quick chat about a couple of other points. Uh, one of the things I'm very conscious of is that today we're opening a major new facility in Buckinghamshire. Uh, I think many people will have seen the Excel Centre in London being prepared for the Nightingale Hospital. There's a thousand beds there. Uh, in Buckinghamshire, we've been doing something similar, but slightly different. Uh, we have a 240 bed facility now opening uh, near the Stoke Mandeville Hospital, at the Stoke Mandeville Stadium, and that's designed almost exclusively for social care. Um, and we're going to be featuring that in a lot more detail tomorrow. But I just want to praise today because it is the opening day. Uh, everybody who was involved in putting that facility together really in little over two weeks. It's a major achievement and a, and a great thumbs up for everybody in Buckinghamshire uh, who's been part of that. And tomorrow we'll talk a bit more about it. Um, the second thing I just wanted to mention was about green waste. Now, I know absolutely everybody does not live in a house with a garden. Uh, lots of people live in places with flats and so on, uh, but I am aware that we've had good weather over the weekend. Lots of people have been out gardening. If you do have a garden and you've collected green waste, can I urge you not to just stuff it in your black bin? Um, if you can, find a corner of your garden where you can compost it. First of all, it's great for the garden, and it also means that there's more room in your black bin for uh, the normal household waste that you would have. So try if you can. Um, not to just put everything in your refuse bin, but to actually put it into a composting area in your garden where actually it can rot down and, and really be good for the garden as well. Um, and the third thing I just wanted to mention, because I was out on my bike over the weekend, you know, I had to make sure that I stay well away from anybody else who was cycling. You know, there's that tendency we've all seen on the press for too many people to go out exercising together. Please steer clear of each other if you can when you're out exercising, whether you're running or cycling or even just walking. It's really important that we don't spread this disease around anyone else uh, while we're out. And now with that in mind, uh, with that in mind, uh, Mark Umrod, who's uh, now going to come on and talk to us, is actually going to give you some hints and some talk about the way in which you can exercise whilst at home. Uh, and so I'm going to hand over straight now to Mark, who's waiting to come in on the call. So, Mark, over to you. And can you give us some good tips and particularly something maybe I can pick up and do at home so I don't get even fattier and stodgier than I'm in danger of being? Mark, over to you. Thank you, Martin. My name is Mark Ormrod and I work for LEAP. LEAP is the active partnership for Buckinghamshire and Milton Keynes. We're part of a nationwide network that promotes sport and physical activity across the country. Our key purpose is to enhance people's lives through physical activity and sport and benefiting their physical and mental well-being. What has been the impact of COVID-19 on sport? Well, it's having a profound impact. Simply put, all formalised sport across the UK has stopped. And in terms of the 1800 or so sports clubs we usually work with, there's near radio silence and the impact on the sector has been immense. For sports clubs, sports coaches, fitness instructors, We've got information about emergency funding available from Sport England on our website and we're trying to keep our first aid and safeguarding courses running uh, using video conferencing. It's having similar levels of impact on people's own personal lives and their physical activity with every sports club, gym, swimming pool and park run in the country closed at the moment. And similarly with schools catering for key workers children, physical education is all but stopped for most children. What are our main concerns? Uh, the impact of falling levels of activity will have a negative impact on people's physical and mental well-being. Regular physical activity as described by the Chief Medical Officer is 150 minutes of activity a week for adults and 60 minutes a day for children. And the benefits of meeting these targets and achieving these minutes will help your cardiovascular health, reduces heart disease, reduces levels of diabetes, improves cholesterol levels, prevents and manages high blood pressure, all things we refer to as health conditions. Sadly, most COVID-19 fatalities have underlying health conditions. So by being more physically active, uh, people reduce the likelihood of having conditions. And with fewer health conditions, you should be safer. So what can you do to remain physically active during the lockdown? The first thing to understand is that we're not all the same. So LEAF has compiled a list of online resources uh, with activities that can be undertaken at home. For adults, older 
adults, children, families and people with disabilities and long-term conditions. So firstly, online activity for adults. There's advice from the NHS Fitness Studio, The Body Coach, Pop Sugar Fitness, Sweaty Betty, Nike, the list goes on. And there's some really good activities on there from the county's leisure providers. So those organisations that normally run our leisure centres uh, have put some online resources. Um, keep it more gentle for old adults. So those with back pain, arthritis, osteoporosis and joint pain, I'd recommend something like Pilates. And our website, we've got some really great links to NHS Live Well. And there's balance videos for falls prevention. 10 Today on the BBC Sounds app is really good for old, old adults as well. For children and young people, uh, there's a plethora of information. The, the, the list is almost endless, and I'd categorise these types of activities into three different types. You've got physical activity for children, you've got PE resources for children, uh, which lean more towards the national curriculum, and activities you can do as a family, such as Joe Wicks, the body coach, which is a firm favourite in the Ormrod household. We also have included links and to resources for people who classify themselves as having disabilities or long-term conditions with information from Diabetes UK, British Heart Foundation, Macmillan, Cerebral Palsy, Sport and videos from the MS Society. So for all of these resources, please visit leapwithus.org.uk or activebucks.co.uk and on Twitter, look for the hashtag stayinworkout for some great resources from Sport England. And what about activity away from the home? If you have to leave your house to exercise, please obey the rules for your own safety and the safety of others. Once a day, walk, run, cycle, ideally by yourself or with members of your household, and make sure you stay two metres apart from other people. It's really quite simple. And if you don't fancy anything I've mentioned, my advice is to try something different until you find something you like and the types of exercising um, that work for you. Um, perhaps the following tips. Uh, the less time spent sitting down, the better. Stay active through gardening, dare I say it, household chores such as vacuuming. Uh, stair climbing works really well, uh, keeps you fit. And try and get up and move at least once every 30 minutes. And if you're engrossed in a box set, set an alarm for 30 minutes and take a break from it. So please visit the LEAP website for more information on everything I've touched on today. Leapwithus.org.uk. Thank you very much and back to you, Martin. Great. Thanks very much, Mark. I thought that was really useful. Um, just uh, to build on what you've said, obviously, get out there, get exercising, but make sure you stay away from other people if you are going out. But if you are at home, follow some of the examples that Mark's given us and make sure that you exercise and do keep fit. It's very important to keep physically fit because it also keeps you mentally fit as well. So it's good for all around health. Um, I mentioned at the very beginning of this session that we have opened that new facility today up at Stoke Mandeville. It's a major new facility uh, and I'm really hoping that tomorrow we can talk more about that. We have Jill Quinton, who's the service head for that area. She should be joining us on that call. Uh, so please tune in again tomorrow to make sure you hear more about what's a major achievement for the county. And coming up hopefully later in the week, we've also got some great examples, I hope, of the uh, best practice from around the county in which ways people are getting together within their own communities to help each other. So having said that, I'm going to sign off again, as I always do, saying stay, stay safe out there and look after yourselves. Keep well.